Welcome back, you guys, to Dark Souls 3. We're going to go ahead and pick up right back where we left off at Firelink Shrine. Woohoo! Alrighty, now there is one more secret that I did want to show you guys, but I didn't want to uh, go over it because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to do this next part. Um, so I do appreciate you guys being all patient. <laughs> so this next part, we're going to go ahead and head up out to this way and from the entrance we're gonna go yonder up these giant steps holy cow we're gonna come out here and we're gonna see a sweet homage to Dark Souls 2 we can examine it if we choose now up here there is a tower okay so consumable heck yes now this tower is locked um, one more time, look at that gorgeous view. Alrighty. Now, there is this ladder up here. However, that is not something you would have access to until uh, late game, which is why we are going to be clever. Now, this tree is placed at a weird angle, kind of, don't you think? That's because you can jump onto the roof. Now, normally, like a regular human being, you would just climb onto it, but this is Dark Souls, so we're going to go ahead and make that jump on the first try. Oh, my gosh, you guys. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and grab the Homeward Bone. Oh, you know what? Um, I forgot to do something. We're going to go ahead and pop that there. And yes, I am going to forsake that sweet jump. Because I need to go and get something. So, what I like to do at the beginning, and the reason I'm doing this at such an early stage, um is because it will prove beneficial for the future and it's a, not a bad thing to have early on so from the shrine handmaiden oh. we're going to go ahead and purchase uh the oh i guess not darn it okay so we can get the first one for now which is one of these it's a prism stone and then um one. if we have any additional souls Maybe. Possibly. Ah, boo. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Why not? Uh -huh. So we're going to sell some stuff. Goodbye, fire bombs. And we're going to sell that broken straight sword because it's a piece of crap. We're going to get rid of that as well. Now we have enough to go ahead and buy that other item, which is the large leather shield. Ashen. Now we can go ahead and be on our merry way from this point forward so the reason that I bought those is because there is an NPC on the roof uh, that we will encounter that you can trade items with uh, and of course this is what I was talking about you guys yes alright see I'm a pro this is legit this is how you know I do this. <laughs> Alrighty, so normally you would just sort of walk around here. Now, right here there is this entrance. Gotta be super careful, because holy cow. Now, come over here and hug this side, and we are going to pick up a very important item up on these rafters. This is an Estus shard. It's used for reinforcing our uh, Estus flask use. Um, now, this is where the NPC talks to you. So, Pickle P Pump a Rum allows you to give her items, and you can leave one of them. And if she likes it, she will give you a new item in return, which is Twinkling Titanite, which is freaking sweet. And then we are going to actually go ahead and leave her the large leather shield as well. And pick up some more Twinkling Titanite. Now, if we move forward, as you can see, there is a load of orange mess right here. 
if we go ahead and we smack this wall really hard, like, get out of here, then we have the illusion wall, which is fabulous. That is a thing. It's great. Walk all the way to the back. Don't be afraid to roll off. And then go ahead and we're going to open this treasure chest and then you're going to cue the Legend of Zelda theme song. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so we got the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, which is important for our greedy asses because fallen foes yield more souls. Souls are currency in this game, so that's going to be freaking sweet. Now, when you come here, this place is kind of a dead end. There's really not much left to look at. So then you go ahead and you move on to the next area. Now before we move on to the next area, however, I am going to go ahead and reinforce my Estus uh, flask so that I can have an additional use of that. Ah, it is good. Reinforce, yes. And then I always allot that over just to make sure. Pretty be careful. Now, in order to get to the next area, you will go ahead and you will travel to the High Wall of Lothric. Alrighty, now, at the beginning of High Wall Lothric there, I will go ahead and see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, thank you for your time.